Hi everyone, I'm here today to tell you about some exciting research from the Common Fund Metabolomics Program, which may help our understanding of how tumor cells make and use energy. One of the benefits of metabolomics research is that it provides information about how the cells in our bodies break down molecules to produce energy. This is particularly important in cancer, as cancer cells often use unusual methods of energy production that are distinct from those used by non-cancer cells. One common way for researchers to study this is to introduce labeled molecules into different experimental systems, such as research animals. The labeled molecules are easy to tell apart from the other molecules that make up our metabolism and can be monitored to see how they are broken down and incorporated into new biomolecules. However, these animal experiments are not optimal, as restraining the animals can induce stress and the experiments often require sedation. Both stress and sedation can alter metabolomic processes. Researchers supported by the Metabolomics Program at the University of Kentucky recently devised a new method of monitoring metabolomic processes that avoid the concerns previously mentioned. In the new protocol, researchers feed labeled molecules to animals using a liquid diet, which is non-invasive and does not require that the animal be restrained or sedated. This results in less stress for the animal, which leads to more accurate experimental outcomes. This method also allows for a longer time frame of experimentation, letting researchers follow the metabolism of the labeled molecules through long metabolic pathways. Using this new method, the researchers were able to show that human lung cancer cells demonstrated a distinct metabolism, both in cell culture models and when implanted into mice. Some of these changes include reduced glycolysis, the process that breaks down sugars into energy, and more active synthesis of glycogen, an energy storage molecule. These changes may allow tumor cells to live in energy-deficient environments. For more information on this exciting research and other metabolomics-related studies, make sure to check out our website at commonfund.nih.gov/metabolomics. And thanks very much for watching.